Welcome to WPZ Cart. In this video tutorial, we're going to take a look at the MOLA theme. Uh, this is the second video in our demo series. Last week, we took a look at our restaurant demo with a infold theme. Uh, this week, we're going to take a look at the MOLA theme in more of a retail store system. Uh, this is probably one of the most common situations or uh, demos that we could do that fits the broadest spectrum of our users. And we want to make a note right off the bat that EasyCart does work in nearly any theme. Uh, we're just simply going to pick a few themes here during this series uh, to show you how EasyCart integrates and some of the best features we feel fit for those industries. Um, last week we took a look at the restaurant industry and some of the really cool features we have in EasyCart just for that. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the retail side of things. This is very common, uh, we think, and so if you ever want to look at our demos, you can go to wpeasycartdemos.com and you can access any demos we build there. And we're starting to add more and more as we uh, bring them online. Uh, again, this works in any theme, but this is a really good example of retail. Uh, usually you want some kind of uh, theme that has uh, a good visual component to it, either that be banners or maybe these uh, slideshows that we have here. Um, this MOLA theme is a really good clean looking theme. We think that's very professional, bright colors. It's got a lot of really great components like this. So we went ahead and built a theme that has various components. And you can see these all uh, integrate with EasyCart um, and jump to our products. Okay, so this is just a home page example. Um, obviously, you can change everything on here with this theme. Uh, if you're on one of our themes, you can check out this left little sidebar too. Anytime you can get EasyCart or view our documentation, or you can get this theme. So as you're looking through here, what we're trying to do on the de uh, demos too is we're trying to create a few uh, popular layouts that you might want to look at. So if you come up here, for example, to the store menu, uh, we put in here lots of different grid columns, uh, grid two, three, four columns, all the way up to six. Uh, we also did a list view. So if you just click on these, you can get the different look real quick of what EasyCart can be changed to. Uh, you notice we can go to a three column layout. This column layout has a, a sidebar on it as well. And so that's definitely an option. Uh, you can go all the way up to six columns if you need to and that fits your product. So we're trying to give you some visuals here. We also have a couple sections um, in EasyCart which I know a lot of retail uh, users like is they like the sidebar and some filtering options as well um, which we have here uh, in a couple of layouts. You can have the sidebar on the left and you can have the sidebar on the right and it gives you the option and once you're in here to go ahead and click on some of those um, those filters should you like that. Uh, we can take a look at the right sidebar you'll notice you can come in here let's say you want to filter this by brown items you can click on that and it quickly filters out your items and that's really popular I know with retail items because getting your getting your users to the right items is a big deal and so is categories. Having categories or groups of products is very important. So a couple really good examples here, different layouts, different sidebars. We also have a really neat sidebar here where you can toggle it on and off. Uh, this gives you a whole layout across your screen, uh, but if a user does want to turn on the filters, they can have this little slide come out on the side. They can go through and select a few options and filter out products really easily or they can open up their filter and they can clear their filters. And this is a really unique system here. This is using what's called Elementor. And Elementor is a popular page builder. Uh, this theme uses it um, in MOA, but you don't have to use just Elementor with that theme. Elementor you can download as a plugin. Uh, and actually install it into nearly any theme. It just lets you build pages. And so let's take a look at that real quick. Um, let's go in here and let's say we're on a uh, left sidebar. And I'm going to go ahead and edit this page with Elementor. 
and all this is going to do is open up the Elementor system here and when you click on this element you'll notice this is the WP Easy Car Store component it's just a module that's drug out here and what it does is it allows you to really customize this you get to select which products show up on this page you can select certain categories to show up on this page uh, you can go through here and do different layouts you can choose how many columns uh, how wide the spacing between them if you want borders we can come down here and actually display the sidebar on the left or the right Okay, you can see how it just switched there to the right side. Uh, you can do a lot of really custom features here. And this is a very unique module just for Elementor. Okay, if you've never used Elementor, uh, you simply look at your modules. Uh, once you install it, you, you create a page in WordPress. And you edit it with Elementor. And it's just modular. You just drag different modules out onto your screen and you'll notice if we scroll down through all these modules there's actually an easy cart section here okay so if you want to have the store component for example drag it out here and now you can start customizing it with all these different features so that's one really good uh, feature uh, we like in easy cart I think it's kind of a hidden feature uh, if you're used to Elementor you probably know this is here but if you're not you may be wondering how to get those really cool sidebars or how do you do some of these custom layouts and this is a great way install Elementor put in EasyCart uh, element out here on your screen and uh, uh, you can start customizing it and we try to give you a bunch of different ones here there's some a search bar you could have running across the top of your store that's a great feature for retail um, so is some of these other ones like the easy cart products uh, if you drag this out here this is a great way for you to actually make um, sliders you can have them in a grid but you can also have your your products as a slider and so that works really good as a banner or maybe a home page component uh, if you're using uh, Elementor so I wanted to show you that because I think that's really a great feature um, on uh, the the MOA theme, but uh, again, Elementor does work in any um, com any um, theme that you have. Uh, in fact, you can actually use Elementor just on the store page, or you can create pages just with Elementor that have EasyCart, and use your regular theme for other pages. So um, something something great to look at. So let's take a look at some other features we have here on our EasyCart um, demo get out here to the demo uh, obviously if you're gonna have retail you're gonna want to have different things uh, such as your cart and your account of course easy cart comes with a shopping cart um, that's one of the core features to it not just the store page uh, we also come with an account uh, so customers can always log into their account they can view their past orders their past history um, if they have subscriptions they can update uh, cards on file uh, if we look at the shopping cart um, the shopping cart is an actual uh, major component here as well and with retail uh, it's nice to offer for example multiple payment checkout systems uh, a lot of people these days are getting used to wallet payments where they pay on their phone uh, you can easily click on Google Pay or PayPal it just depends on what you set up uh, usually with uh, retail stores you might want to have coupons so we do have a coupon section you can also sell gift cards to your store uh, and users can come back and they can enter their gift card here and redeem it it really depends on if you want that module engaged or not of course all of this is able to be changed in our settings and in our uh, checkout area this will give you the options to turn these features on and off maybe you don't want the gift card component you can just turn it off and the gift card section will go away so it depends on your needs and what you're looking for uh, it's highly customizable we also offer an estimated shipping uh, section I know retail you deal with a lot of shipping uh, you're trying to go either across the country state to state or sometimes you're even trying to go international so offering shipping 
uh, and shipping estimates is a really good way to uh, put a price up here that's fairly accurate for a user. Um, all they have to do is enter their country and their state or their zip code. Uh, this this works really good with live shipping, um, which is what the estimate shipping is for. So you can turn this module on and off as well. Uh, as you flow through the checkout system in EasyCart, let's just take a look real quick. Uh, it's very standard. Uh, people are going to enter their billing and their shipping address if they want to, uh, if their shipping is different. Uh, they're going to have to collect their email accounts. Customers can always have the option to create an account. Um, this is part of EasyCart. Um, users just have to enter a password and then they can always come back and they can review their order history um, which is a which is a, um, a good feature for any e-commerce system uh, once you get your your address information entered uh, we can flow on through the shopping cart to shipping uh, we have some options to skip this panel if you really don't need shipping but uh, if you have live rates they'll all show up here it just depends on how you set up your shipping systems uh, if you come in here to EasyCart and you look under our shipping settings, uh, with the Pro and Premium, you can actually come in here and you can connect to Australia Post, Canada Post, uh, DHL, FedEx, UPS, USPS. You just have to enter your credentials and you can start getting live rates. Um, if I look at the shipping rates right now, I just have set static shipping methods. But you'll notice for shipping we have live shipping rates, we have uh, price triggers, we have weight triggers, quantity, percentage based, static. Uh, you have a lot of flexibility here and a lot of other e-commerce systems charge you a lot of extra to connect to these systems. And so that's a really good benefit. Along with our uh, shipping rates here we have shipping zones, just highly configurable. So that's this section. The user is going to select their shipping and then they're going to move on to the next step, which is their payment system. Um, in retail, it's nice to give users the option of what they want, and EasyCart lets you do that. Um, you can let people pay with their mobile devices if you engage wallet payments. Uh, you can have people, people uh, just place an order. Uh, that's what our direct deposit method is for. The order goes into your system and you can invoice them through mail or however you want to collect. Uh, you can use PayPal. PayPal is very popular and many people like to use it but there are people who do not so it's nice to off offer a couple of options. You can also offer credit cards directly on your site securely. Uh, these use really popular uh, proven methods such as Stripe, Square, um, and so you can come in here, you can enter your credit card information, you can know that your site's secure, you know you're using the best methods here, PCI compliance isn't a problem, uh, and then users can check out. This is just a test credit card, but you can see the process here. It processes instantly uh, a person's credit card, and they get order confirmations, they can view their order details, or they can continue shopping, they can print receipts. EasyCart does all this for you and automates it all in one system. So EasyCart really is a complete e-commerce solution. It gives you all of the store info, all of the store layouts. It gives you a shopping cart. It gives you a customer account area. You can put these on your menu however you want. You can have categories of products. You can have 10,000 products. You can have one product. Um, we just give you a lot of options to sell and uh, at a reasonable price. And so this is the this is the MOA theme. Again, if you're interested in our demos, come out here to wpeasycartdemos.com and you can view them. Uh, we give you links here if you're interested in this theme or maybe you just review this theme and you see a few components that might be useful for you. Um, that's what we're trying to do through these uh, through these demos. So hopefully that was helpful. Uh, we'll get you on the next demo, which will be coming out in a week, and we'll see you then.